How's it going, everybody? Monkey Nuts here. Welcome back to Alchemy Factory Workshop, where I make blueprints for my Let's Play series. Alchemy Factory has had a major update, and today we will be fixing one of my broken blueprints, the Builder Closet, and uploading it to the workshop. Before we get to that, I did want to just really quickly jump over to Steam and go over the patch notes. Here in the update log, we can see the blueprints are now saved as .png files, uh, but the old format .af files will still remain compatible. With the new PNG files, we're able to upload custom images to the blueprints. It was a little confusing for me when I first placed one of those PNG files into the Discord. It just showed up as a picture. So you would download that picture and put it into the blueprint file and it gives you the blueprint that's attached to it in-game. Blueprints can now be dragged into the hotbar for quick use. Added chandelier, a lighting device that can be hung from the ceiling. Nice! I uh, also saw there may be some rumors floating around that they're working on hangable belts. I'm excited to see that. Added three different hopper conveyor variants. Added stackable decorative relic blocks. Okay, I'm interested in seeing that. Adjusted the initial speed of the catapult to 60 per minute and updated the in-game description about catapult speed. Okay, so instead of needing two to transport one belt, you only need one now, it looks like, as long as the uh, upgrade speed is on the same level. Added Korean language support. Added traditional Chinese language support. Improved the completion checks for the tutorial. Darkened the text color on the notice board. Increased cash register storage limit from 5,000 to 50,000. Okay, that's nice. I can probably get rid of my buffer storage then between the cash register and my bank. Fixed an issue where the maximum liquid output speed of a device was capped at 6,000 per minute. Fixed an issue where the Alembic would stop working when the alchemy skill level was too high. Fixed an issue where pressing T while duplicating a conveyor lift would leave behind a preview mesh. Fixed an issue where switching form while placing an arcane processor would cause it to turn into a normal processor. Fixed an issue where unlocking the conveyor lift could result in multiple conveyor lifts appearing in the hotbar. Oh, that would be annoying. Fixed an issue where the throw prompt for shelves would sometimes display incorrectly. Okay. Fixed an issue where the conveyor lift mesh could remain after placing a blueprint without enough materials. This was actually affecting me quite a bit. I'm glad they fixed that. Steam Workshop Guide. Okay. Press Q to enter the blueprint interface and select the blueprint you wish to upload. Click Edit to add a blueprint name and description. Click Workshop to go to the corresponding Blueprints Steam Workshop after uploading. Okay. Click the Upload to Steam Workshop. Review and accept the agreement, then click Confirm to upload the blueprint. Download Blueprints. The Steam Workshop page of the blueprint you want to download, click Subscribe to start the download. Press Q to enter the blueprint interface. Blueprint downloaded via Steam Workshop will display a Steam icon on the right side of the selection box. Okay, so today I'm going to fix one of my old blueprints, the Builder's Closet. We're going to take that Builder's Closet and upload it to the Steam Workshop today. Before we work on the Builder Closet, I wanted to check out the new chandelier. That looks cool. What else have we got that's new? They have a Saturn display case. Oh, and it spins. That's neat. And a Jupiter display case. It does require the relic to build. They do have the other relics as well. You just have to unlock them first. And they did make variations of the hopper that now goes out two different sides, all four or just one. That's awesome. And we're back. Let's grab this blueprint here. I'll need to get all the stuff 
I would love to be able to pin the required materials for this to my screen somewhere. And here it is, the builder's closet. One problem we had with this blueprint was this belt right here feeding into the smelter. I changed that when I blueprinted this, but for some reason it keeps coming back. So we're going to reroute this belt altogether. We want to delete this column right here. Right here where that belt feeds into the furnace, we're just going to send it down like that. It no longer goes in front of this. I'm not quite sure why it did in the first place. We can now reattach this one here, grab the drawbridge conveyor, and hook that back up. As for these, we can now save this as part of the blueprint. And you don't have to worry about setting these every time you place it. This is just how we were getting the iron into the iron smelter over here. I have, however, realized that this elevator right here causes a lot of expensive iron to get caught up in the network. So what we want to do is get rid of this block. We're going to add a couple right here, and we're going to put this right here. That's going to get rid of a lot of extra iron that didn't need to be sitting in the system. So we can get rid of that now. I can also get rid of these blocks and these ones over here just to save on the cost of the blueprint. We cannot get rid of this block. That one has to stay. But these can go. And these can go, which will reduce the amount of nails it costs. We can get rid of this one as well. In an effort to save some more blocks, we can get rid of these as well. And move that over one. Uh, some more blocks we can get rid of right over here. And I do believe that's all the changes we're going to make to this blueprint. This one here is designed to be placed inside of a closet. Just like this. And you can put a door onto the front of it. This container here is where you would add your coins to. And various materials will appear in these chest here. This will produce nails, iron. One of these is small wooden gears. One of them is large wooden gears. I believe this one down here is wood planks. We have fertilizer, stone, and rope. I believe stone is in this one and rope is in this one. But if you have not seen this blueprint, this is how it is intended to look. You do not have to put the walls on it. It works without them. You could also place a ceiling. It is designed to all fit inside one cube. Now that we have fixed the blueprint, let's get rid of these walls. Going to press the B button, shift click, drag over to this corner, go as high as the blueprint is, I'm going to come back up here to make sure this is all accurate. And we're going to save that. Press H. But you know what? I want to use the stuff I had from before, so I'm going to cancel this real quick. I'm going to go to my blueprints. And we're going to edit. Confirm. What that's going to do, when I press Blueprints in R, it's going to recall my Builder Closet here. I can press H, and it now has all of the information from the last Blueprint right here. I am going to, however, 
change this down here is we no longer need to get the catapults hooked up. So now the only things we need to do to get this started is add fuel to the furnace and add fertilizer to the nurseries. Once you add fertilizer to these two nurseries here, it will continue to feed itself with fertilizer. This build is not very efficient. It wasn't intended to be. This was intended to just slowly build materials up in the background as you're playing and deposit them into this walk-in closet. I do believe it's this furnace that we need to add fuel into to get everything jump started as it does create charcoal powder to fuel the rest of the build. If you wanted to, you could alter the design of this by adding in some priority splitters to pull some of the unused wood out of here. But I wanted this to be very early game, even when you don't have the splitters or mergers unlocked yet. And one final thing I would like to suggest, if you would like to automate this closet, this belt right here is designed to take the input from a tunnel. So if we put a wall here, and you hop up here, put a tunnel conveyor input right there, and you can get rid of these. And you no longer need to use this storage box. If you get rid of the output on that storage box, this could now be used for whatever you want to store, and it will just stay here. Now let's take the modified version of this blueprint and add it to the Steam Workshop. And we're going to add it with this custom screenshot here. So now I'm going to go into my blueprint. I have taken a screenshot of this. I have gone into my thumbnail maker and jazzed it up just a little bit. So I'm going to upload a custom image right here. And there it is. You can upload a custom image to show off for your blueprints now. That is amazing. Now I'm going to click the Upload to Steam Workshop button. You can click on the View Workshop Agreement. Oh, the image preview is not here. It exceeds the limit. I'll have to change that. So since my thumbnail for this exceeds one megabyte, I went back in and just shrank it up a little bit, made it square format, because I think that's what it wants here. And just press the upload preview image, selected it. I agree to the terms of the Steam Workshop legal agreement. And it has now been uploaded to the Steam Workshop. Let's click this Workshop button and see what happens. And there it is. It does appear, however, we don't have to use the square format. I just needed to make sure it was under one megabyte. So you can now go find this on the Steam Workshop and click subscribe, and it should automatically download it into your game's blueprints. Let's give it a shot. And would you look at that? It has updated with a little Steam icon right here to let us know that that was downloaded from the Steam Workshop. And I probably should have renamed the file before uploading it. Sorry about that. But we are all learning together how this works. <laughs> it looks like it won't let me delete it from here. We would probably have to go back to the Workshop and unsubscribe from right here. Now let's go back in game and see what happened. And it has disappeared on its own. Nice. So there is a fixed version of the builder's closet that no longer has the issues with the wood being spilled into there. And you no longer have to go through and hook up the catapults. We've also made it a little bit cheaper by removing some of the blocks and the elevator that used to house the iron. If you'd like to get a copy of this blueprint, head on over to the Steam Workshop and find it now. I would like to give a huge shout out to all of the chief engineers. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. As soon as my blueprint builds are finished, chief engineers will find them over on the Discord channel 
Usually, there is a two-week wait for all blueprints. This one, however, since it's an update to an older one, is available right away. If you guys enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like. If you would like to see more blueprint builds and how I implement them into my Let's Play series, make sure to smash that subscribe button and join me for the next one. I'm Monkey Nuts. Have a good one, everybody.